Right. Uh, you know, well, tell us uh, how are you since uh, last time we talked was in Catalonia two weeks ago? Um, a bit better. I had a long time to recover. It was a super hard race, Catalonia. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't go home with the result we came for. But that's cycling. I'm happy that uh, I'm, feel, I'm feeling better now and uh, yeah, recovered after yesterday it wasn't too great. I had a little tumble in the first corner already and then I took it easy. Uh, so I should feel fresh, nothing to worry about from yesterday, so that's that's good. Uh, today looks looks like a good stage for me. I think uh, it's up to Ineos to control the race uh, and then let's see what's going to happen. The best chance for a sprint of the week? I guess so. Maybe tomorrow as well. The last climb doesn't look too hard, but with this field you, you never know. And how is going the, the, the work with the team to, to build a, a lead out for you, to build a, a team around you for the sprint? Well, normally I, I tend to like it more to do it alone, to be honest. I also did it like this in, in Bora, so for me, I don't really need a, a full committed sprint train to, to lead me out. Of course, to, to get me there in the end and not get bottles myself and stuff, but I like to follow other trains and, and search for the, the right position myself. You said it that uh, it's up to Ineos to do the, the work today, maybe because they have the better sprinter, but they are also GC goals and there are not that many sprinters. So, how is it a sprint like that when there are, how can it be a sprint like that when there are not so many uh, lead out uh, teams? Yeah, it's gonna be that's gonna be the tricky situation. I mean, I'm not calling myself a sprinter uh, either, so uh, it's not gonna be up to us as well. Um, so, if it's gonna be a long time till the break goes. Yeah, don't be surprised if you may see me as well. Thank you, we'll see that then. Thank you.